When I was growing up, Jacques Cousteau had a big effect on my mm -hmm. life. Fast forward, I learned how to dive. Um, and then about 11 years ago, I bought an ocean exploration vehicle. It's uh, two man submersibles go down a thousand meters. <clears throat> and I knew that I can give that to scientists and we could then also film and do uh, work. Jim Cameron, who was also a passionate ocean explorer, said to me, you must show what these scientists are doing. And so I um, started to develop a relationship with him and we would create museum exhibitions. I, I would finance them and he would also show the, bring his talent to it. And so then um, about five years ago, we built this um, other ship. We were working with um, the major oceanographic institutes and so on. And I learned a lot about both the enabling the scientists and then also providing the media. So what we do is we have uh, partnerships um, in which there's this platform, which I have, has laboratories, it has two manned vehicles that'll go down a thousand meters, it has uh, two vehicles that go, one tethered, one knot, that goes down 6,000 meters, which covers 98% of the world's ocean. And then we're working with um, media to be able to show that. And then, so it's private-public partnerships with a philanthropic element in it. In the Red Sea, each of the last three years, We've, the ship spent about um, eight weeks to do exploration um, uh, of life, underwater life. We've discovered thousand-year-old coral that are um, uh, able to operate in very warm temperatures that they're experimenting about whether that could be used for ocean regeneration. Um, many, many things. I won't go on too long but because there are many of those. So we're working with, uh, with governments and, um, and uh, philanthropy to be able to have those kinds of events.